Hello, my name is Nicole Sudano, and I'm going to talk to you today about simple harmonic motion, which is really cool. And simple harmonic motion has to have two components. One, it has to vibrate or oscillate about an equilibrium point, and it also has to have a restoring force, which is a force that will bring it back to its equilibrium point. So I'm going to be talking to you about two types of systems that both have simple harmonic motion. And um, the first system I'm going to talk about is the pendulum. And the pendulum, its restoring force is gravity, and it oscillates about an equilibrium point, and its equilibrium point is its lowest point. So let's go look at a pendulum that I made so I can give you a real life example. Okay, so this is the pendulum that I have, and right here at its lowest point is its equilibrium point. And when I start it up, the time it takes for the pendulum to complete one cycle is its period. So this is one cycle. One cycle. Two cycles. Three cycles four cycles. So it's the time it takes all the way back. And there's there's an equation to calculate the period, which I will show you very soon. Alright, so this is the equation to calculate the period of a pendulum. Okay, you have t pendulum, t being the period, equals 2 pi times radical um, length over gravity, and gravity on Earth would be 9.8. Okay, so now we're going to talk about um, the spring mass system, which also has simple harmonic motion. And its equilibrium point is the rest point of the mass after we hang it on the spring. And the restoring force is the spring force, which there's an equation for... Okay, this is the equation for the spring force. Okay, spring force equals negative k, which is the spring constant, and k is the springiness of the object multiplied by the distance stretched or compressed. Okay, so we can make our own spring mass system. Really cool. And so I got this spring. And I can attach it to this mass, a water bottle. And see, right now it's at equilibrium. But, I'll move this out. It's at equilibrium. But I can change x by um, stretching or compressing to make it not at equilibrium. But as you can see, once I stretch or compress it, it always wants to go back to its equilibrium point. Well, that is about all I have to say for now about simple harmonic motion. You guys were an amazing audience and thank you for listening. Bye.